Hello everyone and welcome back to Scottish Ladders Darts Reviews. In today's video we're going to do another top 5 list. So for today's top 5 list it is my top 5 bomber style darts. Probably from 5th being to 1st. And it is all purely based on my opinion. So if you've got a difference in your opinion let me know in the comment section down below. But let's crack on with it. Coming in at number 5, we have the Designer Mega Grip V2. There will be a picture up in this corner. Very affordable for a bomber style. Based off of the old Unicorn Phil Taylor Phase 5 LP. Which is obviously the Phase 5 dart that Taylor has been known for with that LP style grip at the rear. Kind of sloping section towards the stem. Now if you're a fan of the James Wade darts, for example the Phase 2. I've got a review of the Phase 2 so if you want to go back and take a look. By all means do so, I'll leave a link somewhere in the description under the pinned comment, you can go and have a look. But the LP grip is a very fine micro ringed cut, so it's great for rear grippers like myself, so that's why this is on the list. Purely based on the fact that it's got decent grip for a rear gripper. Very easily affordable, I think they're kind of £24.95 now, around about £20-£25 mark anyway, so they're less than 30 quid. Simplistic in their styling. There's no fancy titanium nitride coating, there's no paint. Everything about the dart is just simple, sleek and looks perfect for a person who likes a bomber style dart in my opinion. And of course with a designer as always, you always get two sets of flights. Your short stems I believe it is with the mega grips and obviously your barrels, your point protector and a nice plastic case. So you're helping the environment with those plastic cases because the plastic is easier to recycle. So let's move on to number four. Number four is a set of darts who are a special edition dart of a player who is no longer with us unfortunately, that being the Viking Andy Fulton. Obviously recently died. Rest in peace, he'll be up there playing with the likes Eric Bristol and Wee Jockey. The Andy, win Andy Fulton won more special editions as you can see in this pick. It's a lovely looking dart with a nice blue titanium nitride. The grip on them is sensational as well. It is a twin ring milled grip. So that grip does stick to the fingers really well. If you want to see my review and see my thoughts and opinions, again, just go through my channel. You'll find it on the channel. For me, out of all the Foldham darts, these are the best ones for me because the grip on them, the colouration, and just the attention to detail that one mall has taken to make these darts for Andy Fordham. The price is also very decent. When I paid, bought mine, they were £40.95. Obviously, due to inflation and Brexit and stuff like that that's happened now, I think they went up to around that £44, £45 mark. So they're still kind of relatively cheap for a 90% tungsten dart, in my opinion. And obviously, as I said, Andy Fordham is a true legend of the game. So it was only fitting that one more did bring him out a special edition set of darts. Also available in soft tip now as well. So that's great for you soft tipples out there. But with that, let's move on to number three. Now here at number three, we have a love-hate kind of style of dart for most people. We have the Phil Taylor Generation 2 darts from Target. I say love-hate and it's purely down to that Quattro style grip at the back. There was a lot of people that didn't like it. For me, it was innovative when they came out, obviously. That is something you didn't see on anything right up until recently. It was a set of Rob Cross prototype darts that had that quattro grip at the back. Or you can get them custom made onto a set of darts from custom made darts. So it could be worth checking them out if it's a style of dart the grip you like the look of. For me personally, it was the colours that always caught my eye with the Gen 2 Phil Taylors. That blue and silver goes really well. That quattro dip with the scallop at the back was a contributing factor to what draws me to those darts in proportion to other Phil Taylor darts. For example, the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 are always going to stick out the most for me and that's just down to the way they look, simply. The Gen 1 was just your standard bomber with a pixel grip. Gen 2 is obviously, as you can see in that picture, Gen 3 was the golden silica, which was obviously quite unique. The Gen 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 all look very, very similar in for my, me personally, the Gen 2 always catches my eye before any of the rest, just due to that unusual quattro grip. But the price is a major turn off, I think they're around £90, £95, so it is a quite expensive set of darts. But if you're a Phil Taylor fan and you like a quirky dart, well worth a wee look. 
and obviously the blue, blue is my colour, so definitely up there in my top 5 for bombers. But let's move on to number 2. Well, at number two, we have a set of darts I've reviewed only just recently. I do believe it was either last week or the week before, and that is the Unicorn John Lowe Phase Two. These are gold titanium, the nitride coated, and ever since the release, Unicorn released the John Lowe Phase Two, they've always caught my eye. I've just never actually pulled the trigger on buying them until I said, "Screw it, I'll buy them and review them," and I'm really glad I did because definitely up there with my favourite set of darts for a bomber style. The grip is that razor grip with the lateral cut. You can see all the details, dimensions and stuff in my review. So go and check that out if it's a set that interests you. Couple of bugaboos with the Unicorn Phase 2 though, which will put a lot of people off is the fact they come barrels only and you're paying 60 quid for them. Other than that though, the John Lowe Phase 2s, it's a twist on a classic style. So for example, the John Lowe Phase 1s, I've also reviewed them. It's just your standard round grip, silver bomber. If you compare them to the Phase 2, the Phase 2 draws your eye more because of the gold and the grip style is completely different to what John Lowe is known for with that basic ring grip. But I do believe now that John Lowe actually uses the Phase 2 Unicorn, obviously his darts. So it could be something you might want to look into. He uses the Volute Points, the Gold Maestro stems I believe they are, and obviously John Lowe Flights. Quite hard to find though, I couldn't find them for when I was doing my review, so I opted for a different setup altogether. But that's my number two, the Unicorn John Lowe Phase 2. Fitting that it's number two because it is a Phase 2 dart for John Lowe. But let's move on to the number one spot on the list. Let's do this. Right, guys, we are now here at number one. A lot of you are probably going to already expect this. If you know me as a person, this, I've always said this is my favourite bomber set. And it is the Phil Taylor Phase 5 Rosso. Picture just there. Most iconic bomber style. Well, bomber style. Bomber dart in history. I mean, Taylor played his best darts with them, in my opinion. He also did the gold version, the black version, silver version, and there's loads of other variants of the Phase 5. But to me personally, the Rosso is my favourite. Coming 26 gram of course. I've done a review, it's not the Phil Taylor signature set obviously because they are very hard to come by but it has a, the exact same dimensions, everything's the exact same so if you want to check that out by all means check it out. The colour is obviously unique in itself, it's something that stands out if you were to line up all the Phase 5s. The, the Rosso would certainly stand out of, out of them all in my opinion. Comes with obviously like the stems he used, the flights he used, the points he used, the silver unicorn ones of course. It's a good quality grip as well, it's that standard twin ring so very nice and the fingers if you're tailor obviously tailor through like kind of like this. And again price wise you're probably talking about that 90 quid mark, you can still buy the non signature version, uh, double top darts, a180, there's a lot of places that still sell them. Double top tarts is probably your best bet for them. But there we go, that was my top five favourite bomber style darts of all time. If you've got a top five, let me know in the comment below or contact me on Facebook or Twitter, post in my Facebook group, post in my Twitter, Instagram, all over the place I am. So if you want to get a hold of me and we can discuss your top five and I'll kind of discuss anything that's related with anyone or I'll just have a chat with you in general because that's just the way I am. So with that don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below obviously what you thought of the video. Should I do more top fives like this? Maybe do my top five straight barrels or my top five kind of different style, the top five unique kind of style darts. But let me know as I said in the comments section just whatever you like, comment whatever you like because either way it helps the algorithm. Stay safe out there and of course, keep on darting.